got my first real six string Bought it at the five and dime Played it till my fingers bled It was the summer of 69 Oh, and I look back now Those tunes just couldn't last forever Now that I have the choice Yeah, I want the notes to stay there Here come the best songs of my life Give it up. Prepare to be dazzled by the yellow team. Hello, everyone. I'm Garrett. This is Felipe. This is Tate. And before we get into the thick of things, I have a real quick question for you all. So how often have you had an idea, but then had both your hands busy so you actually couldn't write it down, and consequently, you forgot it? Well, imagine now that this same challenge was something you encountered every single time you had an idea. Well, guitarists run into this problem quite a lot, actually, because, let's face it, most of the time they're using both their hands. So, they, the consequence is that they're playing their song, a new song, and they can't write it down, and in the end, forget what they played, and they can't come back to it. So, our team is incredibly excited to introduce to you the solution to that problem, strum. It's an acoustic guitar attachment that automatically transcribes what you play as you play it, allowing individuals like songwriters to write their music, come back and play it anytime they want. So basically, when a guitarist purchases this product, they'll find it's composed of three different pieces. The first product, the first thing within our product, excuse me, is a saddle that they will replace their original saddle on their guitar with. But it's okay, because even with this new saddle, they can play whether or not they're creating music, what have you. The second component, however, is specifically for when they're creating music. It attaches to the saddle with an electric cord. You turn it on, and you'll be able to connect to our third component of our product, an app on a tablet or Android phone via Bluetooth. Then they hit record, play to their heart's content, come back, and they find their transcription waiting for them. The way we'll transcribe their music is using a simplified notation universal guitarist known as Tab. It's a very powerful thing for guitars because it tells them exactly where to put their hands in order to make a certain sound. So the way it works is you have six lines across the screen. These lines indicate what string is played when it is triggered. The way a line gets triggered is by a number, and this number indicates to the player where to put their finger on the neck hand. If it's a single number, one string is played. If it's a column of numbers, a chord is strummed. So basically, it allows guitarists like Fernando here to <laughs> it allows guitarists like Fernando here to create music whenever, wherever, and always come back to what he played. So, say Fernando is sitting in the park trying to come up with the next song to get him on stage in front of, oh, about a thousand people, right? So, he sits there trying to come up with it, but before inspiration hits, he wants to make sure the product is working with the guitar, that we're meeting the parameters. So, he plays a few test notes. Fernando, is there a way we could get a two, please? And how about an open note? And another open note? And just for kicks, how about a ninth fret? Awesome. So, he gets inspiration, he's there, and then he goes on his way. As you can see, Strum is precise, easy to use, and subtle. Thank you, Fernando. <laughs> so, how does Strum work? At a high level, Strum takes what you play and turns it into a digital tab. You have custom saddle with piezoelectric sensors. These sensors turn the string's mechanical vibrations into electrical signals. Our current saddle contains six sensors and 12 wires in a space about the size of your pinky. Our design guides the wires through a hollow inside and does not raise the height of the strings, which is extremely important for our users. The microcontroller contains detection algorithms 
that allow us to infer where the finger is placed from the electrical signal's frequency. This happens in conjunction with an analog circuit and is placed in a palm-sized board with a LiPo battery and a Bluetooth radio. The inherent resonance of a guitar means that when one string is played at a particular fret, another string may unintentionally vibrate. With our strum detection algorithm, we're able to discern between this unintentional vibration and an intentional vibration. And our frequency algorithm helps us detect at which fret an intentionally vibrating string was played. Our mobile app takes in a series of notes and determines whether they were played individually or together as a chord. It then updates sequentially the digital tab as the user plays. At the end of the day, Strum's technical innovations help a user to be able to capture their creative moment in a universally understood format, ready to be shared with the rest of the world. To talk more about how Strum itself will be shared globally, here's Tate. I know what you're thinking. What are the strings attached to this product? <laughs> Our current end users are casual and intermediate songwriters who play the guitar. We believe Strum will be an attractive purchase to these 250,000 users in the United States. Three years after launch, we aim to double this market by expanding internationally. We benchmark Strum off of two products currently in the market. Jamstick is an electronic instrument that teaches someone how to play the guitar. The Fishman Triple Play is an electromagnetic pickup that converts playing into sheet music with additional software and equipment. We believe Strum will be a more attractive purchase to our end users because it can be integrated into any acoustic guitar with easy plug and play. And it's more affordable price of $250. Embedded in this price is a $26 production cost, $112 markup for us, and retailers. We are focusing on selling Strum directly to retailers such as Guitar Center because 60% of all guitar sales happen in music stores. So we believe this is the best way for us to reach our end users. With a $550,000 investment, we will break even in year three and progress to $3.6 million in net profit by year four, giving Strum the means of constructing a viable business. Creative inspiration is priceless. With Strum's simplicity, portability, and competitive price, we believe we can make a tough task easier. We would like to thank the 2009 staff for a great semester in making this product possible. Strum, keeping tabs on your creativity. <laughs> Hello. Again, I want to remind everyone that you can submit questions using hashtag 009RTM. But do we have any questions here for Yellow Team? Hi. So I noticed, um, kind of ironically, there wasn't that much strumming done with strum. Um, and like, I think there was like one like strum down. But like when you're doing in quick uh, succession rhythmically, how accurate is um, the picking up of the signals? I answer that. Great question. Um, so the way that we designed the mobile app allows the user to um, give the software some idea of what they're about to play. So if they're about to play just some straight chords, they can set their you know desired tempo at, at a lower amount so that the app can more uh, accurately detect that. And then if they're going to play like a melody, they can set the settings differently. So we embedded um, different options into the mobile app that allows the user to you know, tailor how it's going to write the tab based on how they're about to play. But in general, um, the software recognizes the tabs at approximately over 90% accuracy. Thank you. Hi. Um, I assume the, uh, the strum, the device, is battery powered. Um, so you would attach it on your guitar, and when you're playing, it's powered on. How long does the battery last, and can, uh, uh, can it be turned off or turned on on, uh, on demand? Yes, so um, the battery in our current iteration lasts approximately four to five hours. 
um, and it can be charged uh, via micro USB in approximately one hour. Um, and when we're talking to users, um, the desired amount of time that they uh, wanted it to be able to be powered was five to 10 hours, so we hit right in that market. Um, and there is also a power button on it, so you can obviously turn it off when you're not playing, as well as detach it from the guitar, because the saddle stays on, but the unit can come off. Thank you. We have a question from Claire. How did Yellow Team decide to display tabs instead of notes? I can also answer that question. Um, <laughs> so um, traditionally, there's a different form of music notation electronic called MIDI, which represents a more complicated and a more information-rich form of music. It has duration, it has pitch, it has velocity and things like that. Um, but for our specific users, we decided to use to um, create the product to output tab because it was specifically for guitarists and it does not have that amount of complexity which allowed us to design the product from the ground up specifically to do that and not have to worry about um, going to this more complex format and it allows us to not require the user to have fancy you know, uh, music notation software, other equipment that's required when you use like a MIDI controller. Thank you. Hello, um, so right now the product is tar targeted towards content creation. Uh, have you considered a, a different market for uh, people learning to play guitar where you'd actually do verification instead? So I guess I don't specifically, not sure what you mean by verification, but another uh, market that we've definitely considered is something like instruction and teaching. And the idea is that guitar instructors can spend a lot of time writing out an app, a tab for a specific lesson and here they can just play it and it transcribes for them. It also is, I, it could ideally be used as kind of um, some sort of error detection measurement where if you play, you can see exactly what you actually, notes you actually hit instead of what you just heard. Thank you. One more question from Carol on Twitter. Are there other string instruments that could benefit from strum, like the viola, the violin, the bass? Um, <laughs> hey guys. Um, so we, we specifically talked about this a lot. Um, and there's definite, definite potential to expand the capabilities of strum to things like uh, to like an electric bass or maybe even a ukulele, but the way that string instruments are con uh, constructed, they have some fundamental mechanical properties and resonance properties that are different that we would have to significantly change the overall design of the product, but definitely for an electric bass or ukulele. Thank you, and I want to thank Yellow Team. <laughs>